a 20 minute and 5 second game. Let's get some practice in, see what we've got today. I'm going to develop the knight. Just defending the pawn. Oh, he's already defending that area. Let's just get the knight out. It feels a bit laggy. Maybe my computer needs to warm up a bit. Okay, small potato game, this nice defensive. So they'll be focusing on potentially attacking round here. Let's castle king safety. Don't need to move so fast, but I feel fairly familiar with this type of thing. So it's just blocking off. So this person's a blocker, really. They're like anticipating particular maneuvers, which hopefully gives us tempo to blast through this center here. Whilst these pieces aren't awake, let's capture. Let's make the break and let's not take the just yet. Let's uh, get this white squared bishop out. Gonna want to move my queen off of the line. Yep, so it's all fianchetto -y slow stuff waiting for us to overextend. What can we do? Can we do something in the meantime? Maybe bring the bishop out now then. Or do we just bring it here as a defensor? Let's just bring it here because they'll just drop that pawn onto it. Maybe make space for the queen. So get the queen off the back. So they're just waiting for us to overextend. So that means in my head I'm, I'm like saying, well look, look at the king move. It's, they obviously don't know how to attack. So we could bring our queen here looking to attack the pawn. Bishop's protecting, so the king's probably going to come. At, oh no, the knight's gone. So the knight's going to take our bishop off the board. Okay, let's hit it and let's take. So I'm happy that this opponent doesn't appear to be an attacking player. They're defensive, waiting for us. I'm going to bring our rook now just to potentially own maybe a file. So this is quite interesting. Um, I like to see these players that just sit back and wait for you to make a mistake. Because we can do the same thing too. But if we're not aware of that, we would go blasting out there and then suddenly we're giving them the game. We don't want to give them the game. We want to try and manage our own manoeuvres as best possible. So he's attacking the bishop. I don't mind him having the bishop. Uh, if we go there though, the queen will be on the pawn. So do we just hang fire? Queen's defending the knight at the minute. Anything else? Have they given us something or do we just move the bishop and not let him have play? I, do you know what? I'm actually going to move the bishop. Pawn's going to drop like we said earlier. You can always bring it back here. Sometimes, yeah, pawn's dropping. So we'll just bring the bishop back here. Sometimes it's okay not to give the opponent what they want because then it dishevels their plan because they didn't plan to bring the pawn here this knight wasn't planning to stay here now it wanted to take the bishop off the board so in essence the queen's supporting the knight so he's going back he's gone back um, because he's had to reset now let's have a look at what we have got for us uh, where does the uh, knight the uh, pawn uh, I'm gonna just double just going to double the rooks. There's nothing clear at the minute, but we don't want to overextend because really there's nothing. I can expect this um, pawn to be dropping here, so we'll probably have to go backwards. But I don't mind any of that. So he's attacking the bishop again. So he's got something for this bishop. He's really hot to the trot with it. We could bring the bishop back, but that would be a very strange position for the, for the bishop. So I'm going to double... Continue doubling with the rooks. Queen comes back. So nothing needs it at the moment. Yep, so the single attacks, just nice and steady away. The rooks aren't linked, which I'm happy with. So he's going to make that happen. The bishop's coming out to then get his rooks into the game. Everything's defended at the moment. And like we said, this pawn is going to be dropping exact spot. It's all logical stuff. It's chess. It's just a matter of who uses the logic a little bit better in terms of managing the squares. 
managing the key pieces. So as we know, it's going to potentially be coming here. The bishop is actually on this pawn, so if the knight did move, we'd be able to take that for free. So we may as well preempt that and just push the pawn here because we know this pawn is going to be hitting the knight. At this moment in time, the Fianchetto bishop, like we said, just blocks the way. Fianchetto bishops block the way, you know. This, but yeah, it's all pretty standard. So we said we were going to bring it back. Don't really see any problems with that. There's no point going to the edge here because the queen is managing this square and the pawn is managing this square. So simply just bringing it back. I don't have a problem with that. So it's nice that we preempted all of that type of position, especially with the bishop. So now they're looking to challenge here. They're a very lazy player, really. Um, there's no, there's nothing special about what they're doing. It's just um, very lazy, you know, sitting at the back, not really doing much, throwing pawns out. And, you know, I'm actually just going to push here. I'm going to be lazy too. I'm just blocking it off. So he's looking to champion, probably potentially going here because if they're that lazy, I think they will do that. And we have options of developing the rooks up a little bit, maybe. Not that that's dangerous or anything. Swing it across, get there. I don't think that's going to be too good, so maybe not. So the queen, queen's moved. So what, what's that story telling us? Queen's moved. It's protecting this pawn. Is the bishop looking to move out somewhere? It's protecting this pawn. That's what it's doing. So if we bring the rook up, like we said, then obviously I think the rook exchange is going to kick in. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... Other than that, really, do that, then the rook challenges. Do we bring our queen across to a white square or a dark square? Queen across. No, he's still continuing with this um, lazy man thing. Right, so if he's continuing with the lazy man thing, is there anything that we have? Knights? Nope, because the queen will take the rook. Bring the queen across, baiting the pawn to come down. I'm going to bait, see what he does. If he does capture, do we take with the queen or the pawn? Probably take with the pawn. Yeah, I'm going to take with the pawn. So now there's like a open file here for them to start actioning, but my knight is kind of blocking the way. So I'm going to have to bring my rook back down again. But then it's still blocked. So we have to fashion some sort of way of getting our knight out. <laughs> oh dear. So it's not really doing much in this position. Oh, it's going for the challenge already. So if we take, rook takes, rook's on in the file. And then the queen is on in the file. I suppose that's less dangerous than them coming down the side. Let's take. Let's take. Queen takes. Go for an exchange, but I don't think they will take. It's better for us because all of these spaces are blocked by the bishop. Oh! All these spaces are blocked by the bishops. So, you know, the bishops don't have any clear way in. We have flexible knights. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do something. So the bishop's protecting this. How do we get around? See, like we're pushing the pawn up here. Flexibility of the knight. So if this knight came back down, came up, then it's attacking this pawn. The bishop goes and there. And then it can come here. Then it's protecting both because this knight will be going here. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Bishop's going to end up coming here, defending these pawns. Yeah, it's gone there already. <laughs> okay, right, so we'll continue as is. So we're attacking this pawn. Oh, he's not gone for that. 
I'm falling for something then. So we'll take care. I thought the bishop was went there to actually defend both of them. Yeah, they're probably kicking themselves for because they did the move right, didn't they, to actually get to here, but then the kings come. It doesn't mean we've won anything by any means, because we could be making space for the bishops now, whereas they were blocked before. Now he can come down and attack the knight. It's got a bit of a that bit of a diagonal. Now, I don't want to go too far up, do I? Because I'll, I'll end up getting traps. If I come here, where can I go from there? Mm, there's nothing. I'm not attacking the pawn. I'm going to have to come back again, aren't I? So if I come back again to attack the pawn, then at least something has to babysit this pawn. Hmm. We've got plenty of time, so if we do take, then the bishop is definitely on our knight. So we don't want that, do we? So I'm going to push this pawn. So we could stay steady on. We could push. If he takes, we take. We're on his bishop. I don't think they will, though. I think they'll push past. So I'm going to push. And again, if we take, his pawn takes. I think we're better keeping things locked down, aren't we? For some reason, because of the night. At some stage. Do, do, do. Takes. Takes. Still gonna have a pawn here if we push. Hmm. Or do we just push past? But if we push past, he can always drop down. Blocking this pawn from supporting this pawn, then his bishop can come here and attack it. Push, if he pushes down, knights can't get, oh, well, this knight can, can it? This knight can attack. So push. Push, knight, bishop attacking the pawn. Knight takes the pawn. Bishop takes his own our knight. Mm. Or do we just go here anyway? Knight here. And if he takes, pawn takes. Bishop's still jammed in by his own pawn. Go here. If there's no action, knight can come here, knight go there, knight go there. I think that's better, isn't it? Now let's do that. I'm trying not to get this bishop in the game. In terms of that diagonal, I've probably done it wrong, but I've got to give it a try. King's move, what does that mean? It's not blocked the bishop yet. If he blocks that, then we can take here. So do we want to just move the knight up? I'm gonna move the knight up. Does take, let's catch it. Don't really want to be babysitting, I'd rather have the king maybe not well, come here. So I was thinking if we're pushing, pushing, then the knight's going to have to stay here with the um, pawn forever. Oh, if 
we give him the king of spades down here? No, no. Not yet. So he's stopping the knight from jumping into there. Knight, knight. Oh, we could have two on one, couldn't we? How does that knight get to this pawn? Uh, well, it can't get to it, can it? Have to go there, uh, and then there. Right, okay. So I'd have to come out, come back in. This knight comes around and around. It's a bit of a long winded passageway, isn't it? But I think that's the only thing we've got. If we do move that down, this king can start coming down here, can't it? I suppose our king can def maybe defend. So that's the plan. It seems like a long term plan of getting a 2 on 1 on this pawn. With the knights. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Let's move this pawn down. Let's move the knight so that we're kind of not making it obvious that we're going for this pawn. <laughs> but we're going to be making it obvious in a minute. So it's one, two, Three, three moves away, depending on what the opponent does. King Kark squeezed down there, yeah. Okay, let's just move. If his king's fast enough, one, two, three, four, five, five moves for the king to come and support. And we've got two moves. Oh, come on, cut me some slack. Here we go. Defending the pawn with the knight. Now we can come back up and attack the pawn. Oh, it's not saying we're winning, but it came into place. Trying to utilize the weaknesses of the bishops being blocked in. So, which one do it take with? The one on the rim because this one's protecting this pawn. Let's take, and we're actually on the dark square bishop as well. Oh, oh god, I thought, I thought I'd missed something. <laughs> oh, crack. <laughs> With the check on the king, I thought, oh no. Right, so it's knight versus the bishop, so the bishop's go oh. So we have two passes, so this really should be Okay for us now. Let's move the king through. Yeah, he can't defend against two passes now. So I, I really quite like the development of this particular game and the utilization of the knights and block keeping the bishops blocked. Those helped make the decision in the game. It looks like the opponents left the game. We'll claim victory on that one. I'm really pleased with that.